Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Soma. When we left off last time, we were getting ready to take this off, this pneumatic seal. I feel bad about it. The last time we unlocked a pneumatic seal, we unleashed a thing that probably was sealed for a very good reason. I'm really enjoying this so far. I like that the uncertainty of what's the reality within the game world. So we were Simon, we started off in a dream. He woke up in what looks like present day to go get his brain scanned. We learned that he'd been in a pretty traumatic car accident and had some severe brain damage going on. And then he woke up from the scan to here, somewhere that does not at all seem to be present day. I'm guessing we're aboard like a spaceship or something. Everyone's gone. There are signs that maybe something horrible happens. Now the obvious conclusion I'd think would be that this is some sort of nightmare induced by the brain scan, right? If we accept that the the opening bit we saw is the real world. But, you know, we've got a lot of nice sci-fi and horror going on here. That may well not be the case. Maybe this is the real reality, and that other stuff with the disignment and the brain injury was a dream. I mean, I'm, I can't even really be positive at this point that we really are human. I'm assuming we are, but we've seen some kind of organic-looking machinery, and we were able to interact with one, so maybe we're not. Like, I, I'm really interested to see where this is going to go. I'm really enjoying the uncertainty at this point, that we can't... We just, we're just plunked in the situation, and we have to make the most of it, and until we get more information, we really don't know what is real. That's fun. So... It's also giving me a very um, alien isolation feel. I played that not too terribly long ago, and the, the, the feel of this sort of, this is why, and that's why I'm thinking spaceship, because the environment reminds me of it. There were some sealed doors we had to unhook there, which is a good thing, because I quite enjoyed that game. So, all right. Oh, no, no, no. All the way to Simon. Oh, boy. I can't help but think that we're going to regret that, but. Okay. I also have to say, I really like, we've seen some bits that look like blood, but in a way, and this is sad to say, blood almost isn't always that scary anymore, because you see it so often in horror movies and horror games and such. This is, this is a lot more eerie to me, to see all these splotches of what looks like oil or grease. It's, it's spread the way blood would be, so it seems menacing, but really we don't, like, I have no idea what it means. That's part of what makes it so menacing, so I, I do, I really like that. It's an interesting change of pace. Also, all these characters we're seeing, um, I don't recognize the language. I think it's not Japanese. I took a Japanese class once some years ago, and it doesn't look like Japanese to me, but I can't at a glance tell the difference between like Chinese or Korean. Although, you know, it would make sense Japanese. The name, whoops, I've forgotten already. Um, we'll come across it again. The name of the uh, service bot, the type that it was. So admittedly, I only had like one Japanese class, so maybe it's Japanese and it's just more um, kanji that I didn't learn. I mostly learned hiragana and katakana, but that was some years ago, so I've forgotten a lot of it. Omni tool, yes! It's empty. Dang it, I really want an omni tool. Close. Cl close and stay close, please. Nice and gentle. No. We'll shoot. Alright, what we got here? Omni tool, version 2.5. Smart access computer. The OmniTool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Over time, the OmniTool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. That's kind of cool. Haimatsu, there we go. Haimatsu seems like a Japanese word to me. And looking at the corner... That middle character, I'm pretty sure, is one of the hiragana or katakana that I learned. But I don't remember what. Anyhow, uh, the Omni tool has a short range signal useful for basic or automated actions such as opening doors while performing complex operations. The Omni tool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or the auxiliary slot. 
The main slot has a standard C1121 connector, which allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omnitool. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. An additional AI? Can I find additional AIs? This is pretty cool. The auxiliary slot is a large multi-connector fitting a large range of toolchip models, including, but not loaded to, a bunch of things that don't mean anything to me, but are probably going to be quite handy. Huh. Yep, Haimatsu Japan. It is Japanese. They're just using symbols I'm not familiar with, and there's a lot I'm not familiar with. Oh, I don't need to all. I'm really excited, and I'm going to pick it up, but I'm afraid that as soon as I do, something ghastly will happen. So let's just hang on a second before we get over-eager here. Whoops. Make a mess of this person's workspace. Although for all we know, it could be our workspace. I wonder if the Omnitool can interact with these. We've seen a bunch of these. Okay, yeah, that looks like a dead person. And I think that is blood. It looks kind of red. It's a dark red, but um, yeah, it's definitely looking like a decapitated person. Hard to feel good about that. So, I don't know. It looks almost like machinery exploded out of the wall and through his head. Okay. Alright, we can squeeze through that. I don't know that we really need to. What is it? It looks almost like a volleyball, but it's on some kind of pedestal. Alright, let's grab this Omni tool. Oh yeah! AI Helper Jane, huh? Alright, so we have it. Oh. How do we use it? Omnitool, open this door. It's a no-go. Is there anything we can do with it back here? Probably just leave all this alone. Hey. This it was locked, wasn't it? Maybe not. Alright, can we do anything with these? There was one before that said about your Omni tool. Let's go back and find it. Hmm. Okay. Okay, this is the way forward. That shocked us. I almost kind of want to backtrack. That first room we were in talked about Omnitool modification. So I would like to check that out. Huh. Alright, I'm going to assume that the Omnitool is going to become functional in situationally dependent instances. Like, I'll find something I can click on and that'll be like where you use the Omnitool. Not like a pull it out and then just try it everywhere kind of thing. What was that light that was just up here? Alright, here's our creepy room again. Where the horror we unleashed resided. And I guess it's possible that it's not really a bad thing. You know, 
I'm assuming there's a lot of creepy cues going on, so I'm assuming it's an evil robot. Maybe it's not, but... I don't know. I'm going to be really wary of it. It has certainly started off by seeming pretty menacing. Oh, uh, here's another of these we could muck around with. How did I... How did I miss that before? Oh, this was my first room. Yeah, well. Might as well. Open up. Alright. So yeah, this is where we woke up. Turn the power on. We don't need to mess with that. Here we go. Yeah! Get in there, Omni Tool. Yeah, insert it. Okay, where do I insert it? This looks promising. Alright. So, what are we doing? Service console up to 3, including pilot seat activated. Alright. Okay. No access denied. Servers offline. Main power suspended. Emergency... Okay, we got 13 days remaining. That doesn't sound great. What is this? 3 progress... S6... Scan. Subject Simon Jarrett. Author David Munchie. Toronto. Okay. So what is this telling us? It's the names. It's familiar names. Alright, Omnitool. Unlock toolbox. Why, yes please. Oh, manage the tool chip. Welcome back, Luis Miron. Hmm? Your Omnitool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross-site security access. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run an update. Okay, I would like a tool chip. We will find one. Cortex chip. You are currently being serviced by the default onboard intelligence, Helper Jane. Note that installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. Alright. Orientation. I know they oh. told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. Okay, so I don't want to hear you barge shoot. into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knocked out the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? Leave it you alone? that Omnitool into a <laughs> terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Yeah? Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Mr. Strohmeyer, that was an excellent orientation. I quite enjoyed that. Over at Theta, you say, huh? Okay, well, we saw a quick map while we were going through that. So, we'll try to find a way there. Alright, what else can we do for me? Inventory. Basic ductile suits 1 through 6. Don't mess with number 3. And number 5 and 6 are out. But we could take 1, 2, or 4. All Haimatsu power suits stored at Omicron. Omicron. Okay. Well, that was pretty interesting. We unlocked the toolbox. Come here, you. Yeah, get in there. Open it. We unlocked it. I want to do something cool with our... Oh, my goodness. Okay, maybe I need to... Pull up. Give me my thing back. What is this? Okay, that's three, so that's the one I don't want. Get back in there. No, it's three's corrupted. I want one of these other ones. Switch. Or no, level three. Okay, I was assuming this is like a lock to the suits, but maybe it's something different. All right, all right. We can figure this out. So, just jam that in there. We've done something. Tool chip found. 
All right, okay. So it wasn't what I initially thought it was. That's fine. Let's have a look now. Uh, um, need tool. What do we got? Fitted with a tool chip. Run an update to confirm the installation and the latest security. Okay, do it. Tool chip security cipher. Updated. Excellent. Come here, you. Oh, yeah. So. I think that's all we want in here. Yeah, we looked at all that. We're good. Now, can I get on a cool suit? I kind of want one. There's no power. Mm. So one, two, and four are good. Five and six are out. Something's wrong with three. Don't put it on. Can we do anything with this now? Holy cow. Okay. Is it progressing or is it just repeating? I think it's repeating. Um, okay, let's go back. Yeah, don't don't worry about that. Construct network. Uh, pilot seat is offline. Pilot status? No pilot. Sync pilot black box. That sounds no. Well, shoot. We gained a thing, but it's not doing anything for us. Reports. All right, Carl Sunken, support Amy Azaro, vehicle tugger, replace heat shields. Success. Sunken reported uncharacteristic levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnostics show a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Sunken's symptoms. No indication to what created this anomaly. All right, was he in number three? Tension. The pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been using it the last couple of months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours when trying to direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. We will figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. This means you will have to do some more heavy lifting, performing the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. Jane Adams, Chief Factor. Helper Jane? Okay. Well, we got a little bit more information. That's something, I suppose. And we did get the Omni. I'm excited about the Omni tool. It's got a tool chip in it. We'll be able to accomplish something, I'm sure. So, let's step out of here. I played some really ominous music all of a sudden. It has been all along, but as I walked over here, it did a particular... And it made me nervous, but I don't think I need to be... I don't think there's imminent danger. I think it's the same as it's been. Okay, what way do I want to go? So, we're, we're good on that room for a little bit, I think. Now that we have the Omni tool, I kind of want to go back to these rooms that accomplished nothing for us before, because maybe they're useful now. Why are all I turned all these lights on before, didn't I? This room wasn't this dark, I didn't think. Okay, it's just it's just a bathroom. Leave it be. There's not going to be anything useful there. But perhaps in here. It seems darker to me than it was before. I might be imagining things, though. Alright. All these light spots are just broken things. I don't think I want to mess around here. I don't want to go over there. I 
down and you're talking at slice through this. Before, though I saw and it said you could access if you had an Omni tool and I didn't at the time but now I do mm. all right I'm just backtracking this is places I've been Alright, so something horrible is probably lurking back here. Let's go see what. around the vent. That's a vent too, but I don't want to get shocked. That looks like maybe I could go through it. Let's look around a little first. Okay, locked gate. Is this circling back kind of... That's exactly the door I just looked at. I got turned around. Okay. Okay, so... This way... Or this way. Thermal plant. But we can't get... Okay, so this is connecting back to the beginning, right? Yeah, this is my first room right here. Okay, okay. So then, we want to go back over here. And where are we heading to? Observation Tower. Alright, let's go observe some things. like my standard Haimansu. We shouldn't attack. Oh, we got a little more... We're underwater? Oh no, this is pretty cool. Not an outer space station at all. So those weren't space seats, these were diving seats. That we saw earlier. Do you know, it's actually really nice to see fish swimming around. It, it's something else that's alive and not a spooky machine. Well, if things, you know, weren't so horrible here, this would be a really nice place to just sit, relax, look at the ocean. someone artistically inclined. So, us, or someone else. Hammerhead shark. Whale of 
there. Some of these I kind of recognize. An eel looking thing. Jellyfish. I didn't look at the back of this one. Back and different. Thick structure gel they can't shake. Freaky fishes, huh? Nice sketch of a shark. Why is it... Why does it have these weird machine things busting out of it? Is it something that started in the ocean and infiltrated us? Like nothing happened. Everything still looks the same. All silence alike. They were joking. They didn't... A plant full of psychotic machines. It's not their fault. They got swarmed. So this swarming thing is what? The, the weird machine-like growths we've seen? And they're sounding like it's not a new thing, an unknown quantity. This is something they're familiar with. So get out of here and seal it. So who are we that are left behind? And when we're touching these, are we like sinking with the machine somehow? Or is it just triggering memories? Enjoy the mystery. No storage permitted. This area must be kept clear at all times. Oh, and so ends our jaunt out into the nice light ocean, back into a dank building. Well, if everybody sealed everything and they managed to escape, then we've just set it out after them, haven't we? Have we doomed all kinds of other people? That's That really sucks if we have. Alright, so we cannot get to the observation tower. Bummer. But we can head over to security. And hey, that's good. Maybe we can find uh, our guy. Huh? Me? Who's talking to me? Oh, that's not good. Oh, crap. You instead of me, what? Okay, I don't want to touch this thing, but I think I really need to. Okay, that's a human looking hand. Ah! What was that? We're human. It doesn't hurt anymore. What? This thing doesn't hurt anymore? It was hurting until we touched it and we've soothed it somehow? Is that what you mean? Looks like we are knocking back the way we came, so forward ho. I don't think we're not getting back. Okay, we can. We can get back there if we want to. Robot assembly. The 
organic machine looking things, the broken spots in our brain, and we're going through and repairing them? Is this like some simulation and that's what it's all about? To do with the scan? I'm kind of like, these flashes happen, and maybe I should go forward to try to see what it is, but my instinct is just, nope, nope, back up, let whatever it is pass. I should check it out, because what's the worst that could happen? I die, but then I just load up the game and keep going? Process cooling, station control. Station control sounds like probably a better place to start, but let's see what all our options are. Exhaust. Where's this go? And then we'll turn around and check out the rest. Okay. Exhaust does look like a place we could get in. Let's see what other options we've got. Process cooling, what are you looking like? Okay, no, and the other one was red too, in exhaust, so station control it is, because it's yellow. I think we can actually get in there. And the other one's we're going to have to figure out how to unlock. Good. All right, Upsilon Geothermal Power Plant, eh? doing something, and I'm afraid that it's going to get upset if I go over and interrupt it. But I'm going to... Don't touch the structure gel... Don't touch the structure gel leakage. Can't confirm its effect on WAU. Issue has been reported to SSC Woolchucks. Alright. Well, I am going to touch whatever that thing is. But let's look around a little bit first. All right, we're going to talk to it. What are you? Hey, can you hear me? Radio signal blocked. Insufficient power. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go back. Back to what you're doing. I didn't. Well, you didn't talk to me. Uh, 
I think I have to. It had a very human voice. Is it a machine tricking me, or is some sort of like human's consciousness stuck in this thing somehow? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Annual door sequence. Um. Okay, so wait, what? I'm not really sure what I'm doing there. Let's look around a little more. Okay, is it this door that we're trying to open? So... Hmm. Okay, wait. So let it get all the way into the green. Stop it. Oh, hey, hey, hey. That's looking good. Nope, nope. Shoot. Okay, I had something there. No. No, not far enough. Dang it. Dang it, I don't know what I did to make it work before. Was it this button I hit, maybe? It was, okay. Oh, hey, hey! Okay, there we go. That was not hard. I need to just pay that attention. Okay. Oh! Hey! We have certainly accomplished something. Excellent. It's making a lot of noise, though. Alright, I think that was a good thing. Comm systems online. Main power. Unlocking doors. So, can we communicate with anyone? Oh, what is it? What? What's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Yes, hey, yes. Hey, can you hear me? It's only Lambda, huh? Uh, Absalot, what's going on? I have no idea. Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In a room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what are you... Oh, so, damn relays. Where are you now? The control room. Uh, 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 Some place dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Um, okay. Oh, I can hear 
now, though. Ooh, that's pretty intense. What is that? Were we, like, digging into the seabed? <laughs> Falling hazard! Yeah, don't drop down the well. It'll be a big problem. Okay. Power restored. Recorded downtime 143 days, 11 hours, 37 minutes. So we've been out for a while, but not like years and years. Inner hull integrity, we got multiple breaches. Minor perforation in the subcoat. Abandoned area U4, U5. Alright. I saw a sign like that before. Hmm. This is interesting. Glass door. Crush hazard. Alright, we'll leave that alone. We could backtrack, though, and see if we can get in those other rooms now. Hmm. Although, we can go down here. See what's going on. Okay, first, while we're up here, let's check out this middle area. Or not. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Well, now I can't backtrack. Dang it! I should have seen that coming. Shoot! What if there was something that we could have found over an exhaust? And the other one. Cooling? Palmer. Oh, electric hazard over here. Right. <gasps> Maybe we shouldn't mess with those things. Oh my no, 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 just stay over there, stay over there. You can just leave me alone, it's fine. Oh my god, it's gonna get me. I, fortunately, it moves slow, but... Yeah, I'm not messing with that thing, we're getting out of here. Alright, you know what? Maybe we will mess with that thing. Be brave, Lavinia. We'll see what happens. First, though. Let's maybe lure it into here. By the electrical hazard. Alright, where did it go? Is it still even chasing me? I mean, it's the thing that hit me, right? Okay, where did it go? I lost it. Okay, let's do this. What are you? <laughs> Alright, I think maybe I do need to get away from it. Either here or we've got stairs over there. Keep moving, keep moving. Holy cow. Did it kill me? It killed me. Okay. 
All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back, and next time we will run away from the horrible machine and find a way to not die.